Ooh, Instagram is adding some new um, team safety tools mm. to compete with TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> taking those team safeties, very important. Um, but yeah, it's, it, <laughs> I didn't really, it's this kind of, I don't know, like, well, so this is like, I like a couple of the things they're rolling out, but like a couple of them were like, oh, how's this, this is a thing. It's a little bit challenging to update the privacy settings but um, you are able to um, essentially with teams they're they're able to they're you have to they can only be DMs. you can have it so they only can be DM from folks that they um, follow mm -hmm. um, adults that they follow uh, I think one of the cool things was is there is a tool that they'll be uh, they'll uh, get a notification that says that um, an adult is exhibiting like suspicious behavior like maybe the adult is sending a lot of friend requests to a lot of different people or messages to users under 18 so it'll allow them to block these particular adults if they are like it seems um unsafe mm -hmm. uh there's also and part of that is like when they do that they'll give you a safety notice and things that they can do um on they'll restrict they can report or block them and it lets them know that um instagram doesn't tell them that the person that they're blocking that this is happening um there's also some basic safety things like don't feel pressured to respond only share with people you trust and your safety comes first just kind of little reminders but they're trying to make it more difficult for adults they're also trying to make it more difficult for adults to follow and find teens on things within the instagram app like explore and reels which includes uh, not suggest like in your suggested user section, not having teens show up in there. So it makes it a little bit harder for teens to be discovered within the app. So so it's kind of, users. so more automating the process. So hopefully it kind of catches more more things. It seems right. Yeah. So, so it's not as much like putting that out there. So um to, to essentially protect teens, and they're working with a new AI and machine learning based technology to help find teens lying about their age on the app. Yeah. Dun -dun. Yeah, that's a, that's a concern because I, I mean you, you're not going to stop them, right? So it's so like, what can you yeah. do to kind of like what mitigate it a little bit, right? So it'll be interesting mm -hmm. to see. Um, so so and is the does TikTok have similar features with this, or is this they're kind of trying to get ahead of of TikTok? I'm guessing that they have similar features. I didn't look into TikTok's features, mm -hmm. but um, they're they're TikTok has been trying to lock down teen content, but it doesn't seem I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it seems yeah. like TikTok still delivers a lot of teen content to folks. Very teen content, where <laughs> it's like, yeah, 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 it, it it gets in your feet no matter what age you are, unfortunately. So interesting, interesting. Good to see them locking down um, and things like that. Uh, uh, Chilla, are you looking? I want. I don't want to say looking forward, but uh, you know, obviously, <laughs> obviously, your kids already uh, online with things like Roblox with other other people and things like that. Um, I, I would say, are you dreading the day that you have to like watch their social media intake? Yeah, I'm not even interested in like, I like the fact that, you know, we're on the iPad. Yes, he's doing some multiplayer gaming. Um, our reading skill isn't even that high yet. Mm -hmm. And the fact that most of the games he plays has no voice component. Mm -hmm. So there's not even an opportunity to do kind of voice chat. I'm not looking forward to any of that. In fact, I know Roblox announced that they were talking about adding voice chat in, and I'm hoping, I'm like, well, if it never came to the iPad, that wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to those that day. <laughs> that Those conversations. Um, <laughs> so, well, uh Another social media that's uh, that's uh, that's taking on privacy. Clubhouse is also uh, taking on a little bit of privacy as well uh, with their uh, drop in audio chats. Uh, they're also starting. A, and Katie, you have marked here even another article about uh, them starting a creators fund for uh, a, a fund a, a program to help creators use the app and, and a fund and things like that too. I gotta say, I honestly have not dropped into Clubhouse for several weeks at this point <laughs> myself. So, um, but uh, but I mean, they're still kind of rolling along there, aren't they? My computer froze. Oh, your computer froze. <laughs> we can still hear you. <laughs> we got you. We got you. I know. Can you? Oh, good. My volume's on. Okay, so I, I hit the the apple in the corner, and like the that menu has popped up. Okay. I saw your note about the HD, and I was like, maybe I'll fix it. And then it's like it's still sitting there, and I was like, I couldn't tell. I got the spinning beach ball, so I couldn't tell <sighs> if I was actually if you could hear me. Or not. Okay. 
That's fun. We I can hear you, yeah. but your video froze. Yeah, your video is definitely frozen. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> You can hear me. Well, hold exactly. on. Let's transition over to Clubhouse, and we'll have no problem with this. Uh, so, <laughs> um, but but you you said you were looking at uh, like you 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 had an article in here about the Creators Fund as well. Yeah. So TikTok is that uh, or TikTok, Clubhouse? Oh my gosh, Clubhouse. Yes. Is, <laughs> we're, we're doing really well today. Fantastic. Uh, Clubhouse has it's, it's <laughs> best show ever. Uh, Clubhouse has a creator first, like it's called an accelerator program. Mm -hmm. And they sit, they're talking about some of the great shows that have come out of this. And um, they're what they're wanting, willing to do, like Clubhouse is willing to do to help you, you know, create your best show is they'll give you the right equipment. They're talking about iPhones, iRigs, AirPod Pros, um, Android's coming soon, uh, working with the Clubhouse team. Uh, matching you to guests and talents for your show, helping you promote your show with creative assets, building in your audience, um, ensuring you're financially support supported by providing a monthly stipend, mm -hmm. matching with brands that can give you um, a, you know, as things that would work um, to turn your idea, make it profitable. Uh, it is an application process and it starts today and everyone is welcome. The deadline is uh, March 31st. So it's really cool because it sounds like you're just going to be pitching your ideas and what you can offer the platform, and they're kind of supporting you monetarily. Interesting. I'm curious All right. to see. Mm -hmm. Remind me, I got a, I got something I'd like to pitch to them. Because uh, <laughs> I, I have an idea that I've been wanting to do, and I've been looking for a platform. And if I can get some assistance to uh, to, to float that, maybe. Um, uh, circle back a little bit on the, on the privacy issues. I'm sorry. I, I realized in the jumbling, I, I forgot to disclose what they were doing. Um, so so updates that they're doing as far as that goes uh link sharing you can now share a link to your profile or club i know i've seen a, i got a lot of stuff popping up for these pro wrestling clubs uh chat clubs that, that i joined uh language filtering uh they'll learn what language rooms you tend to join and filter the others so if you don't like lewd lewd uh, uh sounding rooms they'll notice apparently and keep you from them and you can also invite via phone number because they really want you to open that phone number contact list up on your phone uh so <laughs> uh but no yeah you can invite them from uh, by typing in a phone number uh on there too so uh, it's evolving uh man i really think twitter spaces is going to eat their lunch here in the in the next couple of months too so um and i'd love katie's opinion but she uh, uh, uh definitely dropped back out uh to fix her connection here so i, I mean chilla have you seen any of these I, I don't you don't spend a lot of time on twitter though but have you seen any of these spaces pop up in your up top where your fleets are hanging out up there i have not so i do i i've actually picked up twitter as part of my daily read mm -hmm. again your daily i'm read. back i'm, like I'm back on gotta, i'm gotta cycle and, it and in it's, it's actually because there's a couple um news items that i read that that's the only place to get them okay to the point where like i actually have them like the alert set. So I get a, a, a notification message that, Hey, this person or this account has posted. Um, so I am on there more often. Like I, I had a real high usage and, but I haven't seen, I've definitely seen the, what are they called? The fleets? Yes. I've definitely seen the fleets, but how do I tell does so, it look different? So what what you'll see, and this is only on your on your phone, and I think they've opened it up on Android as well. Uh, up there where your fleets are, and let's see if anybody's live right now. Maybe we can show it. Um, like, hey, Katie, just to catch you up, we're we're talking about um, kind of Clubhouse versus the Twitter Spaces. I, I personally think that Twitter Spaces is just going to completely flatten uh, uh, Clubhouse, much like uh, Periscope flattened uh, Meerkat. Actually, probably Facebook Live more flattened it but no periscope probably helped too so i think we have you back now i see video moving over there at least so <laughs> i'm alive oh good oh good so i don't know did you have any thoughts on that about clubhouse versus uh spaces coming up here i know a lot of the big ways have been getting uh access to it so far on twitter 